on top of Para, and I was 62 years old. Big Irish family, one of seven children, neglected middle child, out of seven, six girls and one boy. I was always the cute kid, you know, I was always the Gidget kind of girl. I was a fashion designer. I designed knitwear for many years, so I had my third child. Then I took on the ultimate challenge of being a full-time mom. Longevity is definitely not a part of my family. Uh, my mother died at age 50, uh, and my sister, who is exactly one year older than me, we have the same birthday, Irish twins, uh, she died at age 48. When my sister died, it sent me into a severe depression, and it took me a while to really realize it did, but uh, I just, I think I figured, well, that uh, my turn is next. I figured I didn't have a chance. Uh, doing, you know, when you look at the history, that was it. There was nothing I could do. Up until recently, we all thought that, gee, if our parents had diabetes or heart disease, we were destined to go down the same route. Um, and it's now, without a question, um, accepted fact that with the science we have, today as far as the genetic testing, the new science in diet and exercise regimens, the power of supplements, the natural power of these compounds, that frankly um, we're no longer victims of our genes, that we really have the opportunity to be masters of our fate and our future health and longevity. I had a lot of stories in my head that I ha have heard growing up, you know, when you are are married so many years, you will have put on one pound for every year of your married life, and when you hit menopause, you this and that and the other thing. So I think people kind of believe these stories that are not necessarily true. And I think if you re really, I guess much like I did, if really start looking at, at how it affects you, uh, how everything around you affects you, you can make changes that are good for you not necessarily what's good for this guy or the guy on this side, but you can make changes that are good for you, and that's what you have to figure out. When Pat first came to the office, her main focus was to improve not only the quality of her life and, and to avoid some of the potential health hazards that run in her family, but also to optimize how she looked since she looked much older than her stated age. It is a fact that aging is inevitable. It is a myth that you can't do anything about it. And with the advance in biotechnology, particularly with gene testing, we now have an opportunity to actually look at each individual's, if you will, genetic deck of cards and create a customized or personally genetic directed health program. Pat's overall program was designed to do two things. First, to really optimize her well-being and her aging process, and that was done with a change in her diet, her exercise, a genetic, genetically directed nutrient program, a, as well as a stress reduction program. And at the same time, we initiated a surgical plan which included restoring her facial appearance with her neck, her eyes, her face, in a very, very natural fashion so that she felt comfortable with the change. It made me feel great. I think it was more, not even the, the look, it was just the fact that I took control over something that I really took control. And that's what it was about for me, was getting control of what I can could control. You can't control everything, but it was putting myself on the top of my own list. One of the interesting uh, results with Pat's final outcome was her surgery dramatically reduced the aging process in her face. And that in itself had a major impact on how she viewed herself and what she should be doing with activities and her lifestyle in general. So that major improvement in her facial appearance really was the catalyst that started her to change the rest of her, her lifestyle in general. Along with that, we've been able to follow her laboratory results, which show a dramatic reduction in all these age-related biomarkers for someone 15 years younger than her actual age. To me, the genetic testing was probably the best process that I went through because it gave me a road map. It gave me actual figures in a diagram on paper that said, your cortisol level is such and such. Before that, I had no idea what your cortisol level, I didn't even know what cortisol was. All of these things that you didn't even really know existed, but it was done in a form that, you know, with a little sliding 
uh, graph that anybody could see uh, what the results were. So it was, it was excellent for me to realize that all these things that I was doing was making me better. She's an example to anyone who really is motivated how far and, and, and how really amazing the changes that can happen uh, with a, a really drastic scientific program. One lucky day, as things happen for a reason, uh, I came to the gym at an, an odd time for me, and there was a young man giving a, a Taekwondo lesson, and I found out it was like they have a robot class, so I went in to try it. About two months later, I finally got the nerve to go down to his school and, and signed up for a few months, figuring, well, I can get through this, realizing that most of the people in the school were younger than I was married. I've been married for 38 years, and I'm approaching my third degree black belt. Everybody ages. You can't stop the clock. You're going to get older, but that doesn't mean you can't do it well. You can be in the best shape you can be. You can be as strong and as fit as you can be. You can have an open heart. You can have uh, a, a good positive attitude, and I think a lot of that is what makes one person older than the other. For example, when, I, when my sister died and I told you I was stuck in that chair and totally really depressed, if I didn't get out of that somehow, I would be very old now. I would definitely be very old now. If you're sitting there saying, I'm going to get old and what is the point of all of this, you're going to get old. I would say you have to realize you are capable of so much more at every point in your life. So much more. If you limit yourself, you limit yourself. It's just a waste of your time. Get out of the chair. Get moving. Get a life.